Today I'm going to show you how to apply boiled linseed oil to your axe. Um, this is to preserve the wooden axe handle and uh, preserve the head. I've seen people do it with boiled linseed oil as well. But I do know that Ray Mears did a tip of using gun oil. Gun oil works better for the head and the metal. But I don't have any, so I'm going to just use um, boiled linseed oil for the whole thing. And I actually got this tip from um, being at the Bushcraft Show this year. It was Paul Kirtley did an axe demo, um, the one that I've filmed and edited for him on his YouTube. You can watch it here if you like. And um, yeah, he did some great, great tips for axe work, but mainly something that I didn't do when I first got this axe. I've had this for a few years now, it's a hold to fours axe, but I didn't uh, preserve or treat the axe handle. Luckily, I haven't used it a lot, an awful lot, or left it outside to weather, or else it would have rotten. Um, all I did was smooth the axe handle down because it was so rough when I first bought it. And then I found out that that is a mistake, a healthy health and safety hazard. Because <laughs> it's slippy, isn't it? But luckily I use um, these type of rubber gloves when I'm outdoors and stuff now. And they stick like one they do. It doesn't go anywhere. However, I'm going to solve that today by... Um, first, I'm going to use my axe pug the one that I used to sharpen it with and scuff up the axe handle to make it a bit more rougher just because I smoothed it and did such a good job of smoothing and finishing <laughs> last time and uh, then I'm going to apply a coat of boiled linseed oil now I've got this one, you can use any old boiled linseed oil and it's taken me this long to get around to actually doing it but I've heard from Paul Kirtley that you apply one layer first then you leave it to dry and he would go back and apply a layer every single day. Uh, so to let the wood soak it up, soak it all in and that's just to preserve the wood and make it will change the colour of it, you'll see. Um, but then I've seen other people on YouTube, um, they actually uh, did it in the morning, afternoon and then night and they did about three coats. I'll try and do it every day. I'm going to do the Paul Kirtley method because I think wood needs the time to soak it up properly to put it in and you don't want to put too much on because if it's on the surface it'll get tacky when you get sweaty and um, you get blisters and stuff because it just won't it won't feel right in your hand um, so I'm gonna try my best to do it right <laughs> so first off let's uh, just rough this up like I say you probably don't need to do this but I'm just uh, roughing it up Yep, so there we go, we've got a bit more friction back in that, so now we're going to move on to the boiled linseed oil. This is the one that I've got. It claims to put back the natural sheen in ancient higher wood. So yeah, but we're using it as a preservative. So to apply the oil, I'm going to use the rubber glove method so it doesn't um, soak it up like a rag would. And then I'm going to finish it off with a rag. And uh, I'll show you that now. Also, I've put a rag on the floor. Uh, because I'm doing it inside, indoors, I don't want to get the oil dripping on the carpet because it will drip eventually. Whatever you do, don't bend over. Just get a little bit in your glove. And then start just rubbing it along. Don't forget the top it because if this dries up the wood shrinks and then uh, your axe head might fly off next time you use it. It's not a good scenario. And then I'm just going to carry that on over the blade, over the head of the axe. Trying not to cut myself like I normally do. So what I'm doing now is giving the metal a protective coating of oil which once it's dried um, will stop it from being exposed to air or salt water or any water to do the chemical reaction of rust, in theory. Because I do notice that this head, it, started, it did start going rusty, so I looked into actually preserving it. So I got rid of all the rust on it, grinding it down with the, uh, the axe puck, and that's why it gives it this nice sort of shiny 
uh, rustic look, which I quite like. And then the handle, the wood actually soaks it in and preserves the wood from all through it, uh, which is the ideal thing really. So there we go, that's the first coat. Very shiny. It hasn't really gone as dark as I thought, it might be just the type of oil. Now you want to get your rag and just wipe off any excess. So as, as I'm doing this inside, I want to hang it up, I'll probably hang it up on this shelf unit here. So um, I've just got this tie unit, this metal tie, I'll put it through here. Get a carabiner clip, any old carabiner clip. Now I can hang this up to dry overnight and then I'll do another two more coats, one tomorrow, one the day after. Hello, welcome to the day two of um, treating the axe handle. I'm just going to do the same again, however this time I'm actually not going to put any on the metal, on the metal head because I've already done that and uh, metal doesn't really soak it in. Um, but you see that there is a bit of a colour difference in the handle, not too much, not as much as others that I've seen but um, it may change after I've put the second and the third coat on, so day two. And there we go, there we go, one shiny, shiny axe. It is coating it quite nicely. So now what I'm going to do is just take off the excess. I love the wood effect it brings out. It really brings out the wood. The main thing about excess is uh, it creates too much of a hardened coating on the outside of the handle. And when you're working with it, that will give you blisters because it's. I think it goes quite tacky. Anyway, that's what I've heard anyway. Then I'm going to hang this back up and let it dry. So welcome to the third and final day of treatment on this. Um, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking a bit more darker. So yeah, le let's just jump right into it. There you go, I'm just going to hang this up for final dry and it should be ready for tomorrow and then we go the day after to Wales. All ready to try out to Wales and you can see that in the series coming soon. So uh, thanks for watching guys, if you really want to support me and what I do head over to Patreon, the link is in the description and uh, any, any amount would be helpful. You can even get behind the scenes episodes of how I make this series or any other videos and influence my content. So um, I hope to see you on the flip side and stay tuned to join the expedition. Bye guys.